Hey everyone, I guess uh, we're making another video and I know I'm sorry, I'm making a lot of videos about religion, but you know, it's uh, it's really important to me because I've been on a journey and for those of you who don't know, uh, it was really hard for me, I was repressed for years and years living in a Catholic environment and forced to, you know, accept their truths that I couldn't live with. And I tried to stay away from religion because I didn't feel right. It didn't feel like me. And now I'm free, uh, you know, because I found a place where I belong. I found a place where I can be myself and I, I believe. <laughs> Just so amazing because... Can you imagine being trapped so many years in a belief system that oppressed your views and then realize that out there, there's just... <laughs> Gosh, it's so amazing because can you imagine for years you keep on telling people, no, this is not what happens, uh, that's not like that. And then, you know, you go and you find yourself where at least you expected. And uh, it's, uh, it's like, it's hard to understand how, because most people are raised in a culture they identify with. They are taught things about religion they believe in. And... Um, they don't ever question, and it's uh, it's so eerie how all that I believed about religion, and uh, it got to a point where I had to deny the religion altogether because I couldn't live with the cognitive dissonance of of, Cal of Catholics, and the only way my mom was going to let me be me and she still didn't but was if I denied God altogether and deep down I would pray and uh, but I tell to me myself that I didn't believe in God and uh, it's so wonderful that now you know and it's eerie because even before I contacted with the people that helped me understand myself I'd be drawn to the synagogue, and it's the most unexplainable thing. Uh, we have a synagogue here, and uh, sadly there is no rabbi because it's just a relic, and it's basically a museum. And now it's even closed because they are doing, you know, restoration uh, work, and so it's closed. But <laughs> I'd go to the front of the synagogue. I'd go just on the doorstep and look inside, wanting to come in, but I'd never get the courage to come in. I just, I was drawn to there. And I was, you know, there's something calling to me. I didn't know what it was, but there was something calling to me. And I just got there and then someone talked to me, you know, can we help you? Uh, do you want to see it? And I was like, I freeze and I run away just like a coward, just like a kid. I don't know why I'd run away. It's just so stupid. I'd go there. And I do this about once a week when I, when I, you know, on the days that I went to tomorrow with my grandmother, sometimes more because sometimes we'd go shopping and then my grandmother would go to the mess and, uh, I just wander around the city and always, always going to the, 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 the street of the synagogue and I, oh gosh, I'm having goosebumps and uh, oh gosh, this is, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, then, about two years after I, this uh, behavior started, uh, I started talking to people on Twitter and uh, it's like, you hear about Judaism, and you hear 
but Catholics try to make it as it's the opposition to Christianity. That's all that Judaism is. But then I start I started talking to a certain person and I started realizing more and more that everything that all my thought process as a child, the 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 way I approach religion, my morals all align with Judaism and it's oh gosh, it's so so overwhelming how much and um I kind of started talking to Jehovah's Witnesses uh two years prior as well because uh Jehovah's Witnesses have um kind of um there are some things that they deny that I also deny like the Trinity they have a few things in which I can see they're closer to the truth than Catholics, but still, they rely way too much on the Pauline letters, and I couldn't relate to them. And they tried to brainwash me for two years, but they didn't. And this guy, <laughs> this uh, Jewish guy, and he's amazing, he's really smart, and uh, really, I think I have met about two people as smart as as he is but he's very knowledgeable very and uh you know and the thing is he didn't want to comfort me he wanted me to stay in Oahide, not convert but well <laughs> too late uh, because uh it's like the more i talked to him the more i realized that my points of view about religion all fit within Jewish uh, um, vision of religion. I didn't agree with the Trinity. I didn't agree that Jesus was the Messiah. I the it's like I hate the the fact that. Um, Christians abolished the law and all the changes that Christians made and uh, so it, it's, it's, it's it's like I felt home I felt it's like can you imagine years and years of your life talking to Christians and they say that you're possessed that you need to be exercised for saying that uh, there are incoherences in their scriptures and that nothing in the New Testament is actually connected to the Old Testament and um, that the New Testament is in contradiction with the Old Testament and you know saying all these sorts of things and people say you're stupid you don't know how to read the Bible whatever and then you find out that there's thousands of people literally thousands of people who believe the exact same thing you believe in in a way it's mind-blowing can you imagine how it is to be connected to a people without ever being in contact it's like it's like you were pulled out of a nest and brought over to someone else's nest and you still developed to be whatever animal whose uh, nest you were pulled out from. It's so eerie how different I am from my parents, how different I am from people in my country. But then the scholarship the 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 the, um, the intellectual curiosity the morals uh, the the way i reject uh christian doctrines and nonsense and all this all this is so similar to people who were born and raised jewish and yes i have a lot of things that i still have to work on 
I was raised in a secular world. I was raised by Catholics. There are still some things I need to work on because, um, and even you can see lots of European Jews, even raised Jewish, have a lot of um, brainwashing done by the European culture because European culture is fundamentally Christianized and there's nothing we can do against it. But still, despite being surrounded by Christianity all these years, I never ever was able to connect to it. And to connect to Judaism in just a few months is, is so amazing. Of course, I had a few experiences that really led me to know that I'm on the right, right path, but uh, still, this is what not what the video was about. 10 minutes of uh, not what the video was about. What a video is about is because uh, as I've uh, mentioned before, I talk uh, online with Christians and uh, Jews and uh, all sorts of religion because to me it is important to be debate religion, to be sure where I stand, to know that I am doing this right, to know, you know, to basically challenge my faith challenge my views and try to get a better understanding of where I'm standing, what the truth is, and learn along the way, and mainly learn things I may not know and understand, and know how to defend myself from Christians, because after I convert, I'm sure that there will be missionaries trying to convert me back. My mom is trying to convert me. And um, there are arguments that people may have a hard time denying. And I want to know if there is an argument that would work on me. So far, all the arguments that have been used on me are arguments that I've denied long before I knew I was Jewish. But still, we never know, so I like to keep my brain challenged and talking to these people. Now, the thing that really ch shocked me is that they keep on pretending that, oh, you're Jewish, you don't know the Bible, you have no understanding of the scriptures, and uh, you are just... Uh, Okay, this is, uh, they're really mean. They go, they say that Jews are the devil, that, um, and then, of course, uh, there's a thing. The, the, the main reason why I uh, left Christianity was because of Paul of Tarsus, and his letters and everything he wrote are the, the most erratic things, her heretic heretic things that go against the Old Testament, and that's why I could never be Christian. And uh, whenever you tell Christians that uh, Christianity wasn't created by Jesus, it was created by Paul of Tarsus, they start angry, they call you ignorant, that you don't understand what you're talking about. And they say that you're just using blanket uh, statements and condemnations without knowledge of the things because they assume, and it's the weirdest part, they assume that I was born Jewish and that I'm speaking out of ignorance. And they say the Talmud is a scam, they say that it's the worst thing, that it, they say so many bad things about Judaism. And they say that I am Jewish because I am ignorant, I don't know anything about Christianity. When in fact, I'm converting to Judaism for the very fact that I know the scriptures. And I know how they cannot work with the Old Testament. And they, they refuse to read the, the references and 
the things that led me to convert and they just say that I'm stupid, I cannot read and uh, gosh they say that just because I say that Christianity was created by Paul of Tarsus that I am uh, acting badly and discriminatory towards Christians when I am not saying things just out of my mind I am stating facts and they get really offended by facts it's like they would rather be lied to than learn where their religion comes from and they get really offended when I say that Christianity has adopted a lot of pagan rituals and practices so they could convert Jews and pagans alike and that Jesus Christ never talk, never met Paul of Tarsus, and that he didn't create the church, that all the things they say are fabrications. And they get offended. They say that the only way I could believe in all this is out of ignorance, that I don't seek the truth. They say, oh, you're so inexperienced unexperienced that you know you should learn from me I've been trying to learn the truth for years and now I know it they don't know your your path they don't know how much you've been for you they don't know how many religions you studied I even studied occult things I studied al alchemy I studied the Quran I studied the Bible I studied Hinduism I studied Shintoism I, sh I studied a lot of religions. I studied a lot of religions. I'm not talking out of ignorance. And the thing is, from a very young age, I could tell that Christianity was not real. I could tell that the God that gave us the Old Testament cannot be the same God that inspired the New Testament. And um, they keep on saying that God replaced the, God, the law for a better one. And uh, they don't understand the cognitive dissonance. If God is perfect, why would he make a law to then change it? Um, it's, it's, you try to explain it to them and they don't understand. And it's frustrating. Well, anyway, I don't care. I, I found finally found some people that I can have real, meaningful, intellectual uh, conversations with. I finally found my way into true religion, and it's not religion, it's truth, but people call it religion, so... Because there is a thing, Christians believe blindly, and uh, many people think that I believe blindly, but it's not the same thing. I was agnostic atheist for years. I'd never believe in something that I didn't know was truth. And um, only when I knew that God is real and God and all this is truth, did I decide to make the conversion because I started feeling affinity for the Torah. I started feeling affinity with Judaism, but I... I didn't want to convert because I was thinking, you know, this is me. Yes, this is all I believe in. But am I being honest? I don't want to lie to God. I don't want to lie to myself. And so I asked for a sign that I was being truthful. And uh, because I, it's like I don't want to fool myself into believing that I believe in something just because I want to believe in something. I wanted proof that I really know and believe in something. And I got my answer and I got my truth. And uh, I know God exists. And um, it's really hard to understand and uh, to explain. And um, so, yeah, my proof involves someone else and someone else 
it's like because I, I needed an answer, a very specific answer at a very specific time for a very specific problem. And that person not knowing that I needed that very specific answer to that very specific problem at the very specific time did provide me the answer indirect, indirectly and felt the urge to give that answer to me, even though not knowing it was responding to me. Okay, it's really hard, but um, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's, uh, and I had other experiences, other proofs. And this is the most beautiful thing that I, that I, that uh, happened once. It's, I was, I was in school and uh, I was, uh, it was raining. It was raining and I didn't have an umbrella. I had brought my computer and I couldn't go into the rain. And I just thought, you know, it would be great if God made the rain stop just long enough for me to get home safely. And then my colleagues started mocking me for believing in God. And they said, it's easier for you to make the rain stop than uh, God stopping the rain and stuff. You know, God isn't real kind of stuff. And I said, oh, yeah. And then I say, I said somebody's name and, and said, you know what? You X name. Make, make the rain stop. As I said that, it started raining like it hadn't rained in years, literally pouring buckets and bu like buckets and buckets and buckets of water. So much water, you have no idea. And then they said, great, Anna, now you made it worse. And I said, no, I didn't. You made it worse, you know. And they said, you know, you're right. But it wasn't me who made it worse. It's my, it was my blasphemy. It started raining like this because I told X person to do uh, God's work. And it was a blasphemy and God is offended. So it started raining this much. And then, as I said that, the rain stopped completely. It's like the rain it was, it was like, it was raining, it was raining, but it was raining really not a lot of rain. Then when I said that, it started raining completely, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then, as I said that God was angry because I had blasphemed, the rain stopped completely. It's not even a drop. The rain stopped completely. And it was the oddest thing. And they all started denying it. They all started saying it was a coincidence. And that I had... It, actually, one of my colleagues even said that it was me who made the rain stop because I believed it would stop. And I, it's it's like, no, it wasn't me. It's, it was God. Oh, God. It's so, it was such an experience. And I had a similar experience uh, a few days later, but this one is the most signif significant one, signific significant one, because it's like you say, the, you know, the exact moment I say, uh, you know what, make the rain stop, it starts raining like crazy. Then I said, it's raining because I blasphemed. The rain stops. It's so eerie and such, oh gosh, such an amazing experience. And I, I didn't even ask God to do that. It just happened. And uh, Baruch Hashem, that happened because, you know, those are the moments where you see that you're going in the right path. And, it's just so amazing, and I'm very grateful for that. And this is what keeps me going. But again, this is uh, only proof to those of uh, those that were there with me, and I cannot use it on social media to prove my points. It just. But uh, I know God exists, and I know He's looking out for me, and that's all I need. And goodbye, and that's it for today.